Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Jetbeam. Now, this here is their TH20 Guardian. Now, this is the version 2 of this model. Uh, the difference is more output, uh, also an upgraded USB Type-C charging port, as well as a 21700 cell versus the 18650. Now, they sent this to me. They wanted me to test and review this light. Now, this is a complete kit. Everything comes in the box that you need to get started. Let's go ahead and check out these specs here. And you've got 3980 lumens on turbo. Now, if you need more time to read this, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get this open and see what's in. Now, the TH20, the previous version actually was one of my favorites. Uh, a lot of light output as well, so really is one of my favorites. It comes with a warranty card. And we also have a user manual. That's multi-language. And we've already gone over the specs on the box. And you get a quality check certificate that it was approved. And it's got a holster here. As you can see there, really on the cheap side on this. I, their previous models had better holsters, in my opinion. Um, we'll go over that more in just a sec. We've got a lanyard here, and they're nice size, good for large hands. And we have an extra o-ring here and a button cover for the power switch and we've got the USB charging cable now remember this is a type C and it is a rapid charging but it's nice that it comes with a port on the side so you're not sacrificing a port on your PC now you want to use a 3.0 or 0 0.1 in order to get that rapid charging for that let's get back here to the holster I mean the holster itself is feels good it's got a padded on the body here yeah that pad has got a liner on it so it's smooth won't scratch up your light but this here is really cheap uh, it's it is double stitched but normally it's like a better like a d-ring on there and this even though it's it is thick enough but for everyday use especially for everyday carry yeah and I'll show you the previous holster what I'm talking about on this one here it's just it's basic I would uh kind of be questioning how long it would last and it's not even sewn evenly it's more space on this side than this side so now we'll go ahead and grab the light and there it is gray bezel on there now this here has a little bit different color as well it's more of a gray graphite color bring it up close to you guys now these guys really went above and beyond a couple years ago when I did it that this design where if you take it out you've got easy access you're not just one-sided like on some other models you literally gotta spin it around really fast but here you've got a 50-50 chance you're going to get the right side. You might get here, but it's not as far to go all the way back around. 
trying to get that lever and like I said these are great perfect size lights real beefy on the heads they've got a lot of heat sinking here now it's not real deep but uh, real solid light on this top heavy there it's got some knurling here this is it does have a little bit of roughness to it but not a lot now the body style I notice hasn't really changed other than adding this charging port here type C now as far as the charging port being on here kind of wish they went with the charging port on the battery and kept the light solid um, as far as completely sealed once it's closed up style and design on this is very nice I've always liked this light um, also the Nikkor TM 03 they are my all-time favorite lights 18650 cells and you know the night core they use a proprietary battery which I don't mind because I actually get quite a bit of life out of them so as far as this one here this is a 21700 cell which is now with the bigger cells I think we've got a balance between a 2650 and an 18650 you've got the two 0700 cell which I don't see too many lights with that option but the 21700 is like a perfect balance between the two where you can get a lot more milliamps and amps out of the battery so you kinda not carrying that bigger wider 2650 and the machining and finish on this is excellent not seeing any issues so let me bring out the previous model and I happen to have it in the holster because I actually use this one quite a bit but here's the holster you can kind of see the difference you see this type you can see how much better that is double stitch got an overlay where the D-ring is and this is just the, the actual belt loop here is actually the same size as the holster itself to me this is a much better quality I think they should have stuck with this because the host is basically the same and I'll show you what I mean by that but this here you know kinda wish they went with that same holster and as you can see the colors are different and you can see here thickness is a little bit thicker there as you can see but the host is pretty much the same oh actually the uh, 18650 has a little bit beefier head there a little bit more heat sink and it just looks like it's a little bit longer there on the head but pretty much identical same size pretty much yeah, they're pretty much the same size there. It's just the head a little bit smaller on the new model. If you put the head to head, you can see. So, but just solid light. I uh, really enjoy these. Yeah, I take these out there. And I like the way Jetbeam went with the non proprietary cell. So you can run an unprotected cell in this which I use the uh, LG MJ1's in this and I uh, get really good run times now of course turbo I don't use turbo all the time so that's not an issue uh, this will do very well on medium and high and provide plenty of light so just thought I'd bring this out uh, really of keeping the quality the same which is always a plus I'll leave this right here go back to the new Guardian now we're gonna go ahead and take a look here at the textured reflector 
as you can see there this is running the Cree XHP 70.2 LED and it is a deep reflector try to get a real good close up of that now honestly I am growing to like this color over the previous model only because to me it seems like you can see more of the design on the body a little bit better all right so now let's go ahead and uh, open this up and I'll show you the insides there's the tail spring you got two springs in there Now we're going to take the little protection piece here off the battery. Now there's a straight contact point down inside on the head. Alright, so now let's take a look here at the battery. This is a 21700 cell, 5100 milliamp. This is a protected cell. Now this is a 15 amp cell. Uh, the cell underneath of course is much more powerful than that, but that the actual protection rating on the battery. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another reason why I like the way Jetbeam does this light as well as the previous model. You can bring in any 21700 cell. You want to make sure that of course it's either a button top or a slightly raised top. Now this one here is a flat top, but it for some reason does run a little bit longer than normal. And uh, it's nice to be able to run an additional battery. So if you, you know, drain this one too far, you've got this one ready to go on hand. You can buy extras. So put this in here. And as you see, you're ready to go just like that. So I really like the fact you don't have any kind of proprietary batteries. Um, I'm not a, a huge disliker of proprietary batteries, but it definitely makes it easy in a pinch if you want, you know, additional run times. Uh, you're not sacrificing additional money having to buy a particular battery. You can have, you know, five or six dollar batteries ready to go, OEM, whenever possible. And plus, you know, buying a rewrap cell, you're always going to pay, you know, up to twenty, twenty-five dollars for those, and they're simply uh, just a rewrapped OEM cell. Now they do put their protection circuitry on it, but. Uh, nice to be able to run those unprotected cells in this light all right so now we're going to go ahead and get started here on the ui we're going to go ahead and turn it on activate it got the regular jet beam battery in there Move this stuff out of the way we're going to go over the light outputs here real fast a lot of light coming out of that first three levels of course simple and easy to use on these lights now we're going to go over the beam now as you can see here it does have a centralized hot spot a lot of bleeding and it just tapers off on the spill area there's no sharp cutoff though so it's going to be probably combination beam but it's probably going to lean a little more on the floody side but still give a good performance on range so now we're going to go ahead and click back through those light outputs. Now on any light level, you can press and hold to get the strobe. And that is a variable speed on the flash. Very distracting. And simply 
release it at that time you don't have to you can do what they call a momentarily and then release it'll stop but after a few seconds it will stay on just like that click that to go right back out you do have what they call now, you do have instant access to strobe went off same way keep it pressed down long enough it will stay on okay so now we're going to turn it back on and we're going to go through those light outputs we're going to get to the highest output here and now we're going to go ahead and double click and now you got the highest output that's a lot of light Uh, my camera is adjusted of course to that so we're going to turn it down let the camera adjust back that is an extreme amount of light uh, it will cycle down and uh, it, can, it starts to taper off gradually it's not an abrupt step down so that's pretty nice so you almost really don't see it unless you're watching it you can start, start to see it slowly gradually go down which is great for if you forget that it's on and you're using it you're not going to notice the step down all right all right well this like I said this is a good second version of it uh, they did add the port on there not a huge fan of the charging ports on the lights I rarely ever use them I use the smart chargers to do my batteries so but it is a nice feature anyways for most so let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the jet beam th20 guardian all right let's get started that's the lowest light output that this has, 35 feet to that water spout. And it is making 65 feet there. There's the beam on the fence. Give you an idea of it. Try it over here. Kind of see, still got some pretty good range. All right, we're going to do Tree of Life, because that's the way the UI is. 138 feet to that tree from where I'm standing. Nice little jump. Really nice tight beam on this. of that that's making that all right we're going to go to the next level here see how it does nice now i did notice the color temperature on this is more white white so probably more 50 200k Easily making the tree of life. And it is making the tree behind that. That's 238 feet from this tree. Really love these single cell lights, especially when you don't need to carry a multi cell light anymore to get those extreme amount of lumens. Tree line, fence line, look at that. Yeah, that is very nice. And we'll do the turbo here on the Tree of Life. 
back in those trees out there too. Back in the school. Before, after. All right, let's do turbo here. See how it does. Nice. <laughs> that is great. And with this bigger battery, you're going to get more turbo options as far as how many times you can have it on. And this is cool out here tonight. It's surprising. It's been warm during the day, but... Double click again, see how it went down a little bit here. There we go. Cycle down is very gradual, and it's about 20 seconds. So that's more than enough for me. And you can do it each time more and more as you need it. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots okay welcome back hope you enjoyed those night shots this thing is incredible uh, you know you start seeing these single cell lights putting out just as much as the multi cell lights uh, you come to think to yourself why carry a multi cell light you're carrying a lot more weight now this here has a huge amount of light output that it can generate especially on short bursts you know you've got a single cell light versus a say like an 18650 that has four batteries you have a lot more weight and this here is easy to carry around and the 21700 cell is uh, becoming world famous and almost a world standard for flashlights so as far as seeing the 18650s go away, I don't think so. I think they're going to be mainly for a little smaller EDCs. But uh, as you start getting into the bigger lights here that are more for tactical, I think we're going to start seeing this 21700 cell pretty much standard in all their lights. Now, did some tests here uh, before I went outside, did the night shots. The only difference I could see was the color temperature on the newer light is more of a probably about 5200k maybe 53 and this one here is about 6000k or a little more so i was just kind of going over some of the differences in the color temperature this one does have a little bit of blue in it yeah not too bad though but you can see it there versus this one here it's more of a white white and the only way i can show it to you is it's kind of off the reflector there so you can see this one here doesn't have any blue whatsoever in the beam and this one does so it's not a bad thing you know I like cool white on my combination beams and pretty much dedicated throwers overall build quality has not changed from one light series to another solid well constructed lights probably some of the best performance on a single cell light that you can get that's possible that is now again this one here is one of my favorites I do like the Nightcore TM03 a little more than I do this one but as far as being able to run additional batteries on this with not being stuck with that proprietary battery a jet beam kinda wins me on that aspect now this new model here has really impressed me. I've got to take my hats off to Jetbeam keeping this particular model uh, alive. And the TH20 is definitely a keeper for me. I really am excited to uh, do some more tests on this, take it to work and try it out and yeah, work nights. So it's going to be 
nice to be able to take this one around. It'll be easier to carry too. Now I want to thank Jetbeam for sending me this to review. Now if this is something you're interested in getting, remember you can still get this older model. Just kind of look around online. Definitely a keeper as well. But this new one here, I am selling them in my uh, online store. Look for that link down in the description as well as a special discount code that will help you save some money on this. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these products here from Jetbeam to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.